Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for the next few days, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. Let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Well, okay, so we had one go flying. It was flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. So you may be tempted to lower your standards in the next few days. This is an advice card. Pay attention to the red flags as well. You're probably going to feel something or see something that, you know, makes you wonder. Okay, consider that a red flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important in the next few days. This could be a new deal, new agreement, new friend, new partnership. So you're in the next few days, there's a meeting with a stranger perhaps that, you know, could change your circumstances. I wonder if this is going to meet your standards. And I don't know if this was that flag was reversed or not. I went flying off the table and I picked it up and I didn't. So I just kept it upright. But this has to do with standards. What do we have for a message today? King of Swords reversed. First card out. I'm going to go ahead and get the cards this time. Then I'm going to cut the deck. Page of Wands reversed. Six of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. So there's unwelcome news here. In the past, we have somebody here that has probably been very, I want to say, abusive, unreasonable, maybe cold, very, very cold in the past. Page of Wands reverse is, in, well, we have individuals here, actual people. I don't wonder if there's some sort of manipulation here, trying to manipulate emotional blackmail, emotional manipulation, um, gossip. Oh my goodness gracious. I feel like we have somebody here that has been abused, right? Page of Cups. Maybe we have somebody here just wasn't being very intelligent. Maybe they weren't being very smart. I mean, don't be tempted to lower your standards. You know, if somebody is trying to manipulate, make sure that you're acknowledging that, listening to your intuition. Okay. Um, seven of Pentacles. Thinking about where to invest. There's definitely an opportunity here with the Page of Cups, which is now right in the middle. So the Page of Cups is typically an offer or an invite or a message that is coming. This may have to do with a new investment, a new opportunity. But there's a need to listen to your intuition hmm, about any messages or red flags that go off. Anyhow, Four of Wands reversed. Ten of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. 
So there's definitely some right next to the seven of pentacles. So there's something about security, stability here, loyalty, relationship, family. There's been a waiting period, a period of stagnation that is coming to an end. There's been some sort of, well, I think there's unwelcome news, but there's, I think there's bad news and there's good news. Something, it feels like there's something that what maybe a seed that was planted a long time ago could definitely be coming, you know, to fruition now. Somebody has been manipulated. Maybe, like I said, there's been emotional manipulation, emotional blackmail, lies. Um, delays. Somebody's been held back. They've been held back by, I don't know, manipulation. Or it could be not, somebody may not have been being honest with themselves about a lover or about something. Something that, but there's an emptiness here. It's like the love is gone with the Ace of Cups reversed. There's emotional withdrawal. We definitely have somebody that has been maybe stuck on something from the past. And maybe it's the, just the feelings or something like that. There's definitely been some sort of abuse, neglect. And it could be physical. It could be mental. It could be verbal. It could be blackmail. It could be emotional manipulation. Um... Somebody's definitely been lying. Or they've been, you know, taken advantage of. Six of Wands reverse, though, is a losing. It's a loser. It's losing a battle. We have somebody here that is losing a battle. They've been fighting this battle. There's. It feels like they're burnt out. There's no fight left. There's maybe no desire to invest in it anymore. It's like there's this person isn't communicating or they're insulting or something like that or they're not giving anything to it. You know, there's an emptiness here. Anyhow, let's get one more card. Strength. Now, strength is a card of courage, discipline, um, mastering emotions, Acting uh, with grace, earning trust, overcoming challenges. I feel like we have somebody here that is focusing on their value, focusing on maybe even taking care of themselves. We do have a new investment. Putting in a lot of effort to maybe even let go of control. I feel like we do have somebody here that has gained a lot of wisdom and inner strength from Unfortunately, it like, looks like in an abusive situation, emotional blackmail, maybe even gossip. I mean, the Page of Wands in reverse is a gossip. Or somebody that doesn't follow through with anything. Troublemaker of some sort. Anyhow, the four of, four of Swords reversed around the corner is, you know, the end of stagnation, the end of a waiting period. Somebody's done fighting some sort of battle, okay? It's like there's been some fighting, there's been drama, there's been tension with the Six of Wands. We have somebody here that wants to be in control. It feels like they're losing. It's like maybe they're accepting it. I don't know. Page of Cups right in the middle is a messenger. That is a message. It's it's good news. It does have to do with a relationship. I feel like somebody's been losing. They've been fighting. They've been wanting to have power. The King of Swords in reverse is a power-crazed individual that is cold-hearted and, and brutal. That's in the past, though. 
I wonder if somebody's been trying to prove something. Maybe it's because of ego. I gotta tell you, strength is about ego, the strength card. So that I wonder if there's been ego that has been causing somebody to act in a heartless manner, which is, that's always the case. We do have inner strength, though, and something coming to fruition now. I feel like it's like we have somebody here that is thinking about their value, thinking about what they have to offer, thinking about long-term stability. I feel like there's it's like finding the strength to, I don't know, accept that something is over. A season is over, perhaps, with the Seven of Pentacles, because I feel like we have a relocation. Time's up. This is it, Okay. Somebody's receiving an offer or an invite or an opportunity. It's a golden opportunity. This is something that you can hold on to. It may be a work opportunity. It may be, have something to do with this stranger. Could make them very, very, very happy. Could assist with... I don't know if somebody's been experiencing some mental battles, mental struggles with this four of swords reversed next to the six of wands you know it's been rough okay it's been rough they it's exhausting and this is like i can't i can't do this anymore there's it's like there's an there's something coming that can bring happiness because the rainbow and the ten of cups it's like the storm is ending okay there's there there could be an offer here or an invite or a heartfelt gesture um, maybe it helps to bring somebody's em emotions, you know, it helps them to find their confidence. Maybe we have somebody here that lost their confidence, their self-esteem, you know, because of some sort of abusive situation. But I feel like there's some sort of support or kindness or offer or invite that, you know... And maybe it's a healing. It brings some sort of... It's kind of like when you say something kind to somebody, it makes them feel better, you know? It may be exactly what they needed to get out of the mindset that they're in, you know? Let's cut this deck. This is definitely a healing energy. Three of Swords reversed. This is uh, feeling better, pain dissolving, things getting better. Could be a conversation, um, mending a broken heart, you know, things starting to get better, you know, the pain starting to dissipate. Um, finding the inner strength to put in effort to focus on one's own stability we have somebody here that is very devoted, very, very skilled, very, very strong. They may have been wasting their time on a heartless situation that has been causing a lot of sadness. This person's been abusive and manipulative and power crazed. Why give it your energy, honestly? When I mean, you can find the strength to look in a different direction, you're the strongest of all. Um... Giving up on some sort of battle, okay? Some it feels. It also feels like we have somebody here that, that's been waiting for a hero, or waiting for this person to change and take action and run towards them. And you know, it's like the first top row: the Four of Swords reverse, the Six of Wands reverse, the Page of Wands reverse, and the King of Swords reverse. It's like I'm gonna lay here and I'm gonna wait for this loser to come sweep me off my feet. Now, how ridiculous is that? Anyhow, um. Four of Cups, Four of Cups. We have somebody here that's been missing something. They've been focusing on a loss, really, really sad, giving deep thought to what has happened. There's probably been a third party situation, maybe with friends, family members, or, you know, a lover, or maybe it's even colleagues. We have somebody here that's really been focused on a loss. They have been missing an opportunity or not seeing an opportunity or maybe they just didn't want it. 
And maybe it's because of the abuse. Maybe it's because of the wanting to be in power, wanting to be in control, you know, um, because a lot of times people don't want to let their guard down because they were abused in the past, right? Or they want to prove themselves because they were abused in the past, you know? Um, there could even be child abuse here, honestly. There could be. Um, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. There's an opportunity or an invite coming that could make you very, very happy. Think about what you have to offer. Think about your value, okay? You're going to need to be strong, okay? And you may need to have courage. There's, there's a need for courage at this time. There's been a waiting period. There's been a, I feel like there's been a very abusive, cocky individual in the way or somebody that has been, maybe there's been procrastination or there's been somebody that was in a position that they didn't want to give up, you know. Maybe we have somebody here that did something malicious, you know, to hide something. Oh, very interesting. This one just flipped right over on the top. I couldn't stop it. For I tried to, too. I tried to make it stop, but it wasn't going to. The eight, and one fell out, too. I don't know. It's, it's turned over. I can't see it yet. Ace of Pentacles is a new path. It's a golden opportunity. This is a gift. It's a blessing. Okay, it's a new investment. It's a new opportunity. Um, it's a new door opening. So there is a new door that is opening. Somebody is about to receive something, whether this is a windfall or a gift or a new job or a new partner, whatever, or something brand new, whatever it is, it's something you can hold on to. Okay, it's something long term. It's an opportunity that, you know, has long term potential. So there is an opportunity here. And this, this is the path that leads to stability, to security. So that's, there is something that is coming. It's time. It feels like it's time. It's, it feels like it's time to receive. Ooh, emperor reversed. So the emperor reversed is a corrupt individual. Could be a corrupt leader, could be a father or somebody that has deserted you in your time of need. This is somebody that um, does things illegal, maybe above the law. Um, very disorganized, unstructured, uh, insecure, naive, only cares about themselves, not their people. Okay, this is, a, this is not a good leader. This is somebody that is inexperienced, that may be in a position of authority, but doesn't care about the people. Like, it's kind of like that person that works in a corporation, right? And is the big boss or is in a boss position. And it could be a father even that doesn't care about their children. Or a judge that, a corrupt judge. But anyway, we could, we gotta, I'm going to go back to the corporation. It's like we have somebody here that is in a position at a big corporation. Um, they are in their position and they don't care about their workers. They don't listen to their workers. They don't, you know, I'm the boss and... This is somebody that is unreasonable and doesn't listen, doesn't care about the people. It's like, I don't care about you. It's only about what I'm going to get to climb the ladder and um, get a bonus and get accolades and take credit for the work that you're doing. So this is a corrupt leader. All right, so whether it's in the corporation or whatever, this person is corrupt. They don't care about their people. They don't listen to their people. They don't have the experience or even the desire to help their people, okay? Whether it's a father or a judge or a boss, okay? This is somebody that is cor corrupt and is only thinking about their own gain, Okay, what they can gain. This is somebody that is actually naive. All right, may even get angry. 
Um, this can definitely be a narcissist tyrant type of energy. Um, this fell out. It fell out. There could be a fallout. There could be a fall from power. Um, we have somebody here that... is very smug and I feel like there's unwelcome news around this person. I feel like this person has done something against the rules and maybe they feel like they are above the law if they could be getting caught. Waiting patiently there's patiently waiting here, gaining strength, something about patience, a need to be patient and wait. There's an offer that is coming, okay? It does lead to long-term stability. There could be a shutdown as well, okay? I don't know what the shutdown is. Could be, and it's interesting I mentioned corporation. Could have something to do with government as well. Um, there's definitely an abuse of power here. Somebody has abused their power. So anyway, in the next 24 hours, I feel like there's red flags. In there, in it, and I, for some reason, I feel like that flag card came out reverse, came went flying off the table in a hurry. It rolled right off. I had to get my little back scratcher to get it out, you know, and pull it forward. And then it went under the rug. It was a big old mess. And I had to, and then when I pulled it up, I didn't know if it came out reversed or not because it was a took me a minute I couldn't even get it back over here so it was a big it, it was just one card I thought that was odd too so you know it's like there's a big fallout it happens out of nowhere and it's a big old friggin mess and then I wasn't sure exactly what happened you know um so that take that as part of the message and it's interesting because this is this is something around there's an opportunity that is coming this is a new door opening, and, and this is going down the path to security. But there is abuse here. There is abuse. A message is coming. Um, you could be receiving support or a generous offer or a heartfelt gesture. Patience could be paying off. Somebody's patience could definitely be paying off. A waiting period is over however that resonates with you and there is a person that is very 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 corrupt that only thinks about themselves that has no intentions of doing the right thing this person um doesn't care about either they don't care about it's kind of like a father that doesn't pay child support and not trying to put anybody down when I was looking at that emperor reversed or somebody that doesn't take care of their children or doesn't yeah doesn't take care of their children or it's a boss that doesn't care about their people or it's a judge that has um favorites I don't know what you call that um or doesn't you know or it's somebody that does fraud you know um, and it doesn't have to be a judge, but somebody that's in a position of authority that is actually a very con, con artist, you know, and there could definitely be a con artist, a fraud here. Um, but I do feel like we have a fall or, or a mistake that gets made. Um, somebody is losing some sort of battle. They've been fighting completely. And this, I wonder if they're tired or they just... They're exhausted. And we may have somebody here that's been waiting for some sort of masculine to come sweep them off their feet. You know, they, you know, this person is abusive, is a narcissist. People can't see the reality. They, and it's unfortunate, but that's the truth. Um, anyhow, I think we have a newfound inner strength about self-value. And I feel like we have a new, we could have a new work opportunity here or a new, a new flirt, a new love, you know, a new offer that 
I don't know, brings happiness, whatever. There's a new opportunity here, and this has long-term potential. Good luck.